Margaret Munford. I'm one of the co-presidents for Fuqua Pride, which is the LGBT group for Duke University's Fuqua School of Business. And I'm Manuel Levervanche, and I'm the other co-president of Fuqua Pride. We have about 30-something LGBT students at Duke um, from over eight countries around the world. We have, uh, but we also include, when we consider the club, we include uh, our allies as well, and then that counts about um, around 200 people who are part of the club. We do, we have some activities throughout the year, but the most important activities are, we have a drag show, um, which is attended by roughly half the school. Um, it is, uh, our dean participates as a judge, uh, the staff and professors participate as, as judges in the drag show. We also have um, an ally in the workplace training and a um, trivia night <clears throat> with allies as well, uh, sort of to, tra to talk about um, LGBT issues, how to be an advocate, how to be an ally. So those are our biggest activities. Yeah, so we think the real um, strength of Pupil Pride is the way that we interact with the other clubs on campus. For example, we see ourselves as both a social club and then also a professional club because we help each other come to events like Rambo, which are networking focused. And so we link up with the finance club, the consulting club, um, all of the other affinity groups for some of the networking nights. Um, and that's just within Pupil. I think, honestly, the biggest thing that we are working towards this year is really around ally engagement. As Manuel mentioned, we have like 200 people in the club who are you know, our ally supporters, but how do we turn them from allies to real advocates? And how do we expand that group, that core group of um, ally supporters that we have that are our cabinet members and come to our meetings and our social events? How do we expand that even further and really have the, the trickle down effect um, or the ripple out effect, if you will, of of allyship and what that really means. We really recommend that um, they reach out to, to members of the club. We have uh, cabinet members that are specifically, um, that their, their task in the club is specifically to talk to uh, prospective students, guide them through the process, help them understand what Duke and what Fuqua is about, um, both as a in, in the MBA in general, but also for LGBT applicants in particular. We also have an, um, a weekend, the LGBT weekend, in which prospective students can come to Duke and see for themselves. We have a lot of activities with them. Uh, we have we bring them to classes, they uh, meet with the uh, Career Management Center. Um, then we have activities with the dean, with professors, with current students, with previous students. And it's a, it's a fun weekend and it's a great way for them to see um, and experience what Fuqua as an LGBT student is like. So we really recommend that they reach out to us, um, to see their questions, whatever they have uh, about the process, but also that they apply to LGBT Weekend and see for themselves what the experience is, is like. Yeah, and just to, to piggyback off of that, I think it's really important for people who might be nervous about coming to North Carolina, which is in the South, and so we get lots of questions like, oh, is like, what are you like in North Carolina? And Durham is awesome. Durham is super friendly. It's a, it's a great community. Durham actually just this week opened an LGBT center downtown. Um, we have two lesbian bars. Um, <laughs> sorry, boys, you gotta go to Raleigh. Um, but it's actually a wonderful community, and North Carolina pride actually takes place in Durham. It's one of the nexus of sort of the socially liberal environment of North Carolina. Um, and so I encourage people that might be nervous about it, come to Durham, hang out. You'll recognize that we have a lot of the same vibe as some other cities um, when it comes to like cool little coffee shops and great food. Um, and it's a small town you can get around um, pretty easily. And so don't, don't be scared away because it's North Carolina. We, we understand it's a personal decision. Um, it, in our experience, Duke is very supporting and Duke was very supportive and open to LGBT candidates and LGBT students. So we, there's no really no need not to be out. Um, how about work? I don't know if you have any advice. Yeah, so one of the things that I often tell incoming students or prospective students is that Fuqua lets you in because they want you, and they want you to be you. Um, there's a reason that you made it through the process and are an admitted student. And so if you're holding back who you are, then you're not letting the school, the community, um, fully benefit from your perspective, your challenges, your experience. And so it's important not just for us to get the benefit of you as you, um, but then also to encourage other people who might not be out um, to recognize it as a safe space. I think the best thing that any student, any particular student could do for the LGBT community 
is, is to come out as who they are um, and to fully express that in a way that helps support the idea of collective diversity, which is one of Fuqua's main, main principles um, for collaboration. And it really helps you with, um, it, 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 it allows you to have additional networks, additional people that you can talk to and, and uh, that you can relate to and that can help you out. So for us, we are a closing community and we prepare students for rumba and that's an opportunity that you only get if you're out of school. Otherwise, it's, it's something that you're missing out. And that happens in work as well. There are usually, most of the companies have LGBT networks that are super helpful to their LGBT employees. And if you're not out of work, then usually you can participate in those. Yeah.